Let's now talk about how we can do traversals over trees. And there are three kinds of uh, traversals that we might do. And there are certain preconditions uh, that should really apply to some of the uh, traversal. Just watch out for that. And we're going to go over the general definition for each of the traversal kinds. And we're going to do exercises together. That will be the best way to learn about the traversal. But let's now go over the principle for each one of them. They are rather similar. It's just about the order of making the recursive call that's going to make uh, a difference between the traversal kinds. Let's take a look. And a traversal in general over a tree and the tree over here is not necessarily just a binary tree, just a general tree. It's about systematically, so systematic is very important. However, there are different ways to really do systematic traversal. Visits all the nodes in a particular tree. And here the visit is a very general term over here. When you actually visit a particular nodes, what do you want to do about it? You may just want to print out the contents for the nodes, or maybe you want to retrieve its elements, or maybe you want to somehow accumulate its elements to some global value. There are many creative ways you can actually uh, implement when, when we talk about visit. So the visit over here is a very general term. It doesn't really imply a particular operation. It can be very flexible about what you may want to do. We'll see examples in a bit. And we, uh, we want to visit each node, uh, and each node may be associated with an action. So action re is really the creative part. Let me just give you some example, and then we'll try to focus more on the order in which we try to do the traversal. I think that's more important. In terms of uh, which action you may want to do whenever you visit a particular node, that'll be up to your creativity. You may want to print. You may just want to determine if the particular for example, root elements satisfy a certain property. So the property can be anything that might return a Boolean value. For example, whether or not the element is positive or whether or not a element actually uh, matches a particular key value. Either, uh, either it's equal to it or it is not equal to it. And we may just want to accumulate the no elements value for some global result. I think the accumulate might be the more challenging part to really get right. Well, the simplest example would be, let's say we want to calculate the size of the tree. How will, how will we do that? We want to systematically visit all the nodes in the tree. And every time we actually visit the current node, we're going to say plus one. And we're going to accumulate all the plus ones together to really uh, reach uh, and then try to accumulate some global counter about a size for the tree. And then we can return that global counter at the end after the tree for traversal is actually terminated. That's uh, just one example. But just remember, I think that the accumulate part is really the part that's a little bit more challenging to do. That would be uh, kind of up to you. But I'm going to focus more on the order in which we can do traversals. There are three different ways we may do it. Let's now talk about them. The first one is called the pre-order. I would suggest uh, for now, since you're first learning about these traversals, try to, well, of course, you know, some kind of memorization is kind of uh, unavoidable, but we should really minimize that. You definitely don't want to minimize examples, uh, traversals. You want to memorize just the principle, which are uh, straightforward and also simple enough for you to memorize. This is what I want you to memorize. For pre-order, you, you want to memorize about the order in which you want to do the uh, recursive call. Visit the parents, this is like the base case. And then visit the child subtrees. So this will be the recursive cases. If you got one child, just do one recursive call. If you got two child, child nodes, you're going to do two recursive call. If you got maybe five different child nodes, you're going to make uh, five different recursive call, maybe with a loop. Right? Again, you want to memorize uh, what you have to memorize about pre-order. It's about what well, it's order. You have to visit the parent first as a base case. And then after visiting the parents, you're going to visit each of the child nodes recursively, doing pre-order on each of the child nodes. And this will be some kind of like a pseudocode. It's not exactly Java code, but I think it's close enough. If you really want to try, uh, I think later on when we talk about uh, binary search tree in the next lecture, you'll definitely see some example about how to uh, make some kind of traversal. You will definitely see concrete example. But for now, I think a pseudocode might be enough just to make sure you can do exercises on the paper. Right, so you can see we're going to visit uh, the position n. Position is like a node n. So n here is really the root of certain subtree, right? Remember, it's a recursive uh, operation. And then for every child node, over here, right? You can see uh, for every uh, child node of n, we want to recursively call pre-order on the child. So this really corresponds to this order over here. Visit the parents and 
recursively visit the child subtrees one by one from left to right. So that's uh, exactly this part over here. All right, hopefully you're okay so far. And what you're gonna memorize is about the principle over here. The next one is called post order. The post order is like the opposite to the pre order. What we want to do is we want to recursively visit each of the child nodes from left to right. And then we finally visit the parents as a base case. You can see that's the opposite, right? So in the pre-order, we visit the parent first. And in the post-order, we visit the parent last. But the way we recursively visit the child nodes from left to right is going to be the same between the two, right? That's about post-order. And this will be the sort uh, of code. You can see it's very similar, except for two things. Number one, you can see we uh, visit the current uh, root node in over here at first. And this will be at last. For, uh, also, when we make a recursive call, we're going to say pre-order corresponding to the pre-order. And here, when we make a recursive call, it should be post-order as opposed to uh, uh, corresponding to the post-order over here. Right? So definition-wise, it's pretty uh, simple. It's clear, straightforward. You just have to get a feel about how to deal with uh, some example tree that's complicated enough, which is something we'll do. And finally, it will be something called in order. However, let me emphasize, that's a precondition I was talking about. For pre-order and also post-order, so these are the more general traversals that can be applicable to any tree, any general tree, meaning that it can be arbitrary number of children. So that's why you can see uh, we got a for loop over here. On the other hand, for the in-order traversal, it is not applied to general tree. It is only applied to the special kind of uh, general tree, which is called binary tree, right? Meaning that every node, every internal nodes, more precisely, has at most two child nodes. That's something we'll see. So this will be the uh, principle you have to memorize. Recursively visit the left subtree, the left child, the subtree rooted at the left child. And then as a base case, visit the parents. And then recursively visit the uh, right subtree. Right, so that will be in order. You can see the parents will be in the middle. Think about what uh, the timing of visiting the parent node defines the name of the order. If you have to visit the parent first, in that case, it's called pre-order. If you have to visit the parents, the last is called post-order. And if you have to visit the parents in the intermediate step between the uh, two child nodes, that's called in order. That's uh, the principle. That's how I remember it. And not surprisingly, you can see if then the, uh, the current root we are talking about in the recursive call, if the current root does have a left child, in that case, recursively in order traverse the left child. And then finally, uh, I'll, I'll talk about the intermediate, intermediate one last. And then uh, finally, if you actually got a right child for the current node, in that case, you're gonna recursively in order traverse on the right child, right? So this, this is the first step, this is the final step. Both are recursive step over here, there's no loop. Because in the case of binary tree, you don't really need to need a loop to really visit all the child nodes. And the middle over here is the uh, base case over here. We're saying that we're going to visit and act on the position N or the node N, the parents. All right, so that's about the three kinds of uh, traversals on the trees that we're going to cover in this course. Before we move on to the exercises, I would suggest you pause the video and do the following before you resume. I want you to re uh, review and also make sure you can properly memorize the principles for each of the traversal kinds, pre-order and post-order and also in order over here. And make sure you know exactly when to really make the uh, base cases visit and when to really make a recursive vis uh, visit on the subtrees of the child. It will be very important for you to get it right. And you can now pause the video and then we move on to exercises.